So hi guys, today I'm gonna do um, J. Cole, so yeah, so his album is really good, he was just released uh, today in fact, his album um, Off Season, I just listened to it uh, for the first time and wow, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really something, he's really going after everybody and he's showing his skills, you know, showing what kind of skills he has, which is <laughs> really high level skills. I'm starting with Prismacolor pencil. So, yeah. So, right now it's uh, really J. Cole and um, Big Sean that inspire me the most right now. I mean, there are other ones, of course, all the time. Like always. Yeah, hip hop is really uh, inspiring. I mean, if you find some art artists that uh, inspire you, I mean, it really makes a difference. Because, uh, like I explained, um, I explained in the last video that I quit my job uh, in 2018, and I've been working. Uh, I mean, I've, I haven't been working enough on my my drawings and music and improving on my skills. So, um, and what inspired me was uh, I watched so many podcasts. Uh, I mean, I'm still not amazing at anything. I'm still, I'm still struggling. Uh, I, I'm not gonna talk to you like I'm, like I'm better than you or like a, you know, anything like that. I'm just, I'm still struggling and I'm still hard, but I'm trying to get it better. I'm trying to work every day. You know, it's really hard, but uh, I watch a lot of podcasts, um, you know, like for example, Jay Shetty podcast, uh, that's a really good podcast, um, the people on, on there uh, talk a lot about uh, how to, um, you know, to move away from our, uh, away from our difficulties and everything that we, we uh, he also talked to Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Charlemagne also said that we he wrote a book. I think he wrote a book on this. Uh, like we, it's all in our head. It's, I think that's what he said. It's, uh, it's all in our heads. It's all in our heads. Like we're trying. We we don't realize that we we uh, we put a, a break on ourselves. Like we we yeah. Anyway, it's hard to explain that. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. But still, um, you know, I'm trying. But yeah, just like I said, so the podcasts are really useful. And, all, and books, also I, I read some books and everything. Um, there are many other podcasts. Uh, Tom Bilyeu, I, th I think, I don't know if that's how you say his name, like Tom Bilyeu, something like that. Uh, it's really useful, these kind of podcasts. But also, like I said, uh, hip hop rap music is also really useful. Because, uh, I mean, if you, if you listen to some artists like J. Cole and Big Sean and many others, they have a way of, uh, you know, of making us, like, talking to us almost like, like almost they talk to us directly. Like, it's almost like, they're talking to us, you know, like because they've been they've been where we were before too. They've been the same as us before. They were struggling also, the, you know, in their apartment, uh, trying to to make music and all that. And you know, they succeeded. And yeah, it was a lot of work, but they did it. So now they they can talk to us about this and. Oh, we listening. I'm, I'm listening to what they're saying. So in his album recently, like he's saying a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, my love for hip hop started um, a while ago. I cannot say that I'm a <clears throat> that I'm a hip hop head or or something like that. I'm not really. I know quite a lot, but I'm not like I don't know everything. You know. Um, in the 90s, I, I mean, I'm a little older than I look, <laughs> by the way, 
but uh, yeah in the 90s um, um, I mostly listen maybe at the end of the 90s maybe 98 99 but barely you know maybe Tupac or Notorious B.I.G but you know only the most famous one barely in the early 2000s you know Eminem and all that um, but really what what uh, made me listen to hip hop uh, there was um, a place like a library where we could um, we could rent music like it was a place where um, it's only for music it's like a library but only for music and that was a really amazing place that was uh, in early 2000 um, <clears throat> it was really amazing because you go there and there's everything there's CDs there were CDs and uh, CDs, cassettes, uh, vinyl, everything. But I just rent, I rented the CDs, and didn't know anything about rap. So I just, I don't know why I, I like rap. Maybe it's in my blood or something. I don't know. I'm half black, half white, but maybe it's my black blood. Uh, I'm black, so it's like okay. I like hip hop. I don't know, but I don't know why I liked it, but I liked it. Because English is not my first language. I'm French. I'm 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 a French Canadian, so English is not my first language. So and I understand it really well, but I don't talk really well. And back then, I, I had to struggle more to understand. But I mean, I understood pretty quickly. Um, now I understand everything. But I mean, it's not that I listened much before. I just liked the music. I just liked how it sounded. Uh, you know. I didn't know why I kept listening to it and yeah uh, I kept renting I didn't know what I, what I was renting I just looked at the cover of the, the CD and I was like okay this maybe this is good I'll try it and I tried them And yeah, so I kept listening to it for over the years and I was just listening to it for the how it sounded. I liked how it sounded, but then now I'm starting to really listen to to what the rappers are saying. So that's the difference now. And I, and I understand more what they're saying. So like I said before, uh, mixed, I'm mixed raised, and I've been struggling for a long time to know like on which side I am because you know I've been raised white, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's strange a little bit, you know what I mean? But I'm like, okay, I have to admit that I'm black, you know what I mean? It's hard to admit. No, it's not, it's not hard to admit, but I mean, when I watched Drake um, on his uh, rap ra radar, he said uh, he's a black man, right? And he's lighter than me. He's light skin, lighter than me. So I was like, oh, okay. He said he's a black man and he's lighter than me. Okay, so I was like, okay, I guess I am too, right? And people see me that way, so okay, I guess I am. I have to admit it, you know what I mean? It's not that I didn't admit it, it's just that I've been struggling with this. Now, I don't know if, if any of you have, are mixed race. If you're having struggling with the, uh, you know, you're mixed or you don't know, I don't know if any of you can comment below to, to know if you have, have been struggling with uh, your ra different races or not. Let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, when I heard Drake said that he's black, he's lighter, lighter than me. I was like, okay, and then I heard um, Jay Z on the story of OJ, the song. And wow, this song, man. <laughs> he said like, uh, if you're light, dark, rich, poor, I mean, N-word, you know what I mean? I, I don't really say N-word. I don't know, it's strange, but I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't have English friends, you know? 
like I have to remember I, I don't have English friends English isn't my language so if I had English friends maybe I would say it but I don't know I don't say the N word but in this song the story of OJ by Jay-Z it's like light dark rich poor still N word like still black whatever your light dark rich poor whatever so then I was like, okay, okay, good point. And then he said, um, like OJ said, um, I'm not black, I'm OJ. <laughs> like, because I think OJ said like, he's like mixed like uh, Puerto Rican and, and Filipino and Portuguese, whatever. I don't know, I don't remember, but like he's not, he said he's not black, but he's clearly, clearly is, you know. <laughs> so, Everybody sees him like that, so anyway, it's complicated, but you know, by listening to Drake and Jay Z, I was like, okay, maybe uh, I have to admit, I have to choose my side and be okay with it, and you know, be not not struggling with that anymore, and just you know, I mean, I'm still mixed, but I mean, you know, like it's complicated, you know what I mean, like it's. I'm still mixed, but I'm, you know, because I wasn't raised by my father. You know, I wasn't raised with my, my father's black, so I wasn't raised with him. So, you know, if I was, maybe well, I would be different. I, would be, I wouldn't be struggling with that, but yeah. Anyway, it is what it is, you know.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I finished it. That's the result. This is an overall view. 